A brief history of vitamins. Long ago, we lived in trees. We ate our fruit. We picked our fleas. But then we left. We sailed the seas and soon succumbed to strange disease. Let's wind our way down to the Nile, where some of us endure a trial. Whenever daylight turns to night, we cannot see, we lose our sight. <gasps> While some of us rely on prayer, some others turn to trial and error. A bit of liver, they surmise, applied directly to the eyes. Release a blind man from his plight, returning back to him his sight. Let's skip ahead some centuries and turn the globe a few degrees. Right now, we're sailors in Japan. We're doing everything we can to figure out exactly why we're feeling, you know, less than spry. Turns out we need some good advice on how to best prepare our rice. By switching it from white to brown, we turn our energy around. Meanwhile, far away from shore, some more seasickness is in store. With yellow eyes and spotty skin, our teeth are slowly rotting in. However, when we start to swill, we notice that we feel less ill. So grog's the answer, we declare, and swiftly drink away our cares. We didn't know it at the time. The thing that saved us was the lime, a bit of which we'd squeeze into that wretched-tasting pirate's brew. Soon after that, a revolution that darkens doorways with pollution and chokes our skies with clouds so thick our children wither, pale and sick. Their brittle bones will not withstand the burdens of this shadow land until we find the perfect foil, a daily dose of liver oil. And that was how we beat the gloom. We took our sunlight with a spoon. Today, we've cracked the mystery. Cod liver oil, it's full of D. You can't spell brown rice without B and lime is packed with loads of sea. So raise your glasses, swill your swill, go slap some livers on the grill. Unless, of course, that makes you ill, in which case we suggest a pill. Problem solved? Well, not so fast. Sometimes the past is not the past. And vitamin deficiency is hardly ancient history.